Welcome to the session, Adaptive Analytics in Action, a financial services use case. My name is Joe Gallant, Sales Engineering Manager here at InterSystems. And I am Wee Wen Lee, Quantitative Development Manager, Financial Services. In this session, we will show you how we use IRIS Adaptive Analytics to provide financial services business management reporting. First, Wei Wen will define the use case, then show some interactive reporting and dashboards connected to InterSystems IRIS Adaptive Analytics. Then, Joe will look inside the demo and focus on how we use InterSystems IRIS Adaptive Analytics to provide centralized data modeling, data virtualization, and self-service analytics. Now let's review a specific financial services use case for InterSystems IRIS. The request was to build a business management reporting system. This was built in three to four weeks, creating base data sets, analytics, visualizations, as well as configuring a virtualized aggregation layer. The data covers the sales and trading business for a corporate, sovereign, and equity trading desk. The underlying data is roughly 100,000 plus equity and bonds, 30 plus years of historical prices. We simulated 6 million plus trades and calculated the price, dollar value of a one basis point shift, position value of a one basis point shift, key rate durations, and p and L. Here we see a Tableau implementation of the business management dashboard. This was designed for a CEO, head of a trading desk, senior risk manager, or a CFO. What you see here are daily pie charts covering position, market value, P&L, and risk. We also show the daily position, market value, and risk versus limits. Here we have a fiscal view of the P&L, broken out by quarter, as well as the yearly P&L trend. To complete the dashboard, we show the historical risk exposure versus risk limits for sovereign and corporate bonds. Next, we will view a few reports that we use on a daily basis. Here's a daily portfolio report broken up by sector and trading book showing position, market value, and P&L. As part of the self-service concept, the end user can change the report to view what they deem appropriate. Here we have a risk exposure report, broken up by key rate duration buckets. Here is a report for a CFO showing the fiscal P&L broken up by sector and trading book on a quarterly basis. For historical portfolio analysis, here's a graph showing the change in position over the year versus the P&L. For historical risk analysis, here's a graph showing the risk limits, the red line, versus risk usage, the orange line, over the fiscal year. The green shaded area easily shows the comparison of the risk usage versus the risk limits. This graph allows a risk manager to easy, easily identify risk breaches, which may require additional analysis. And lastly, here's the historical P&L graph, broken out by sector. Now that we have seen a visualized set of reports, let's look behind the scenes to see how InterSystems IRIS was used to create this demo. So we have seen the reports in Tableau that visualize the data, but let's look behind the scenes at the capabilities of InterSystems IRIS. 
On the left side, we have a variety of trading systems, equities, corporates, sovereigns, and potentially many other systems. All that data is brought into InterSystems Iris. The next part of the diagram shows how that data can be distributed across multiple InterSystems Iris servers. InterSystems Iris is able to provide a unified view of data across multiple systems. For example, you may have analytics, limits, price, and security reference information on one server and position and trade info on a different server. But InterSystems Iris provides a unified view of all that data. Iris Adaptive Analytics allows you to create virtual cubes that access the consolidated data in InterSystems Iris, providing a virtualized unified view of the data. And you can use a variety of BI tools to access these virtual cubes. This includes popular BI tools like Tableau, Power BI, Excel, or other BI tools. A key benefit of adaptive analytics is the centralized data model. All your calculations are centralized as part of the cube providing consistent results regardless of the BI tool. In data models, meaningful names are extremely important. Often, the field names in your existing tables might not be meaningful. These names may be a cryptic abbreviation or acronym, or a name that made sense to the developer who originally created the table, or maybe the name is too generic. In this example, you see a column that is named quantity in the source table. But what quantity? This is a very generic name that is probably not meaningful to the user who will be querying the cube. So in the cube, we can give this a more meaningful name, in this case, position. Another important aspect of adaptive analytics is data virtualization and aggregation. Since these cubes are virtual cubes, data is not copied from the source to the cube. Data requests sent to the virtual cubes are translated into queries to the data source. On the left of the screen, you see the query sent to the virtual cube from the BI tool. This query is translated into an optimized query sent to the data source that you can see on the right. Which brings us to query optimization. Here's an example of an aggregate, which is a query optimization structure that is automatically created based on queries sent to the virtual cube. Here, we see a lot of information about the aggregate, including which dimensions and measures it uses, how many rows it returns, how many times it's been used, how much time was saved by using the aggregate. InterSystems Iris Adaptive Analytics uses machine learning to automatically create these optimized structures based on the query patterns that users use. With Iris Adaptive Analytics, you have the freedom to choose from popular BI tools like Tableau, Excel, Power BI, and others. Regardless of which BI tool or tools that you use, you have a consistent view of your data due to the centralized data model in Iris Adaptive Analytics. This provides the client self-service access to the data. Let's summarize by highlighting some of the benefits of InterSystems Iris. InterSystems Iris allows you to manage data complexity from a variety of sources, then create a centralized data model of virtual cubes for aggregation. These cubes are contextualized so they are meaningful to the target users, and machine learning provides query optimization. Self-service access to the data is provided via the BI tools of your choice, providing a consistent view of the data regardless of the BI tool. Let's take a look at the adaptive analytics architecture from the perspective of several personas. 
On the right of the screen, you see several personas. Let's start at the bottom. Data engineers ingest the data from different sources using a variety of technology adapters provided by InterSystems IRIS, including SQL via JDBC, or Kafka, or REST APIs, or other APIs. Then, the data stewards use IRIS Adaptive Analytics to create data models, the virtual cubes, based on the data provided by the data engineers. Then the business and risk analyst use the data models and a variety of BI tools to create the dashboards and reports. Then the business users use these interactive dashboards and reports like the ones we saw earlier in the demo. So to summarize, for data engineers, InterSystems IRIS provides connectivity to a wide variety of data sources. For the data stewards, IRIS Adaptive Analytics provides centralized data modeling using virtual cubes for consistent access to the data while allowing different naming conventions for each use case. The business analysts can use the BI tools of their choice to access the centralized data model to create analytics, dashboards, and reports. And the business users and executives use these interactive dashboards and reports, and they can also have self-service access to the data via the BI tools of their choice. To learn more about InterSystems IRIS Adaptive Analytics, here are some links for additional resources. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us using the info on this slide.